this kid went on social media, not on social media, doing an interview, interview. Yeah. said that hip hop was dead. dead. Yeah. And I came online to say, if you read the interview and the context of that, that he, interview. He, he was talking about American hip hop though. He, and he was talking about hip hop generally. Mm. He wasn't even speaking specifically about Nigerian hip hop no, or African hip hop. He was talking about the decline of hip hop. Check what? Fast forward 10 months after in 2023. It's been reported that for the first time in 15 or 20 years, hip hop hasn't had a number one billboard record in the Hot 100 this, this year. This year, it's been reported that this is the first time in 20 years, yeah. and that there has been an official decline in the growth of hip hop, leading to one of the biggest faces in black culture in the world, in the legend Ebro Darden, yeah. coming out two weeks ago, that saying that he had a conversation with the record label executives yep, yep, who yep. confirmed to him yep. that they will not be signing hip hop artists anymore yep, yep, because yep, they're yep, focusing yep. on Latin American uh, and the African continent yep. because that's where the growth is. Yep, 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 yep. Guess what? We got it here. It seems like Whiskey was right. Yeah. He said that he said, he said that a long time ago. ago. Yeah. But you know what, yeah? And okay, when people like us came out Everybody got what's up, what's up? It's your boy Jimmy Rava. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. You are watching Fun Time TV Afrobeat Pressure. Yeah, so uh we all know Mr. Adisope, Adisope, yeah. Adisope that uh I prefer to call him Mr. Adisope, one of the legendary media personnel from Nigeria currently based in the UK. Yeah, so Mr. Adisope was on uh Mr. Adisope was on fresh of the boots youtube channel yeah is a podcast on youtube you know fresh of the boat is actually one of the youtube channels that discuss about african music you you can go check uh you can go check them out kindly subscribe to their channel and always you know check what like it's a very beautiful channel where they discuss about african music yeah so uh mr adisope was featured on the show yesterday i think yeah yesterday and i uh, he really you know on the show I think yeah, a few years ago, a few months ago, Risky came out to say rap music, hip hop music is dying, is dead. Yeah, according to Risky, he said hip hop music is dead. He said hip hop music is dead, and uh, a whole lot of people, especially the fans of hip hop all over Africa, a whole lot of people came out to you know bash Risky left, right, center. He said uh, in Africa we only have. Three rappers that are doing good. And actually, he mentioned, I think, Nastisi Sakwadi and Black Sharif. They are the only hip hop. And even his own people, his own Nigerian people, really bashed him. They really bashed him, Charlie. Because even Nigeria, I have most of my favorite rappers from Nigeria. Personally, I have some of my. Uh, look at this guy, for instance, Black Bones. I really like the guy, Black Bones. Man, Black Bones is one of my favorite. Am I a bagger? Uh, oh, Ice Prince Amani. I like, there used to be this rapper in, from Nigeria called Mode 9. Yeah, Mode 9. I like, uh, uh Fals, Fals the bad guy. I like Fino. Chala, I've been listening to all these rappers. So I don't know why Risky then came out to, you know, disrespect them. That hip hop is dead. So yeah, uh, when after, uh, Mr. Adisope was on our uh, Fresh of the Boats channel where and on the show he confirmed what Whiskey said. That indeed the hip hop culture is dead. Like it's gradual is dead. Like he confirmed what your man said. But me personally, I don't really really agree with uh them. Yeah, hip hop at the time used to uh had all the attention. Yeah, there was a time that hip hop was enjoying all the attention around the world and people were you know all all over like even in ghana people were jamming to the hip-hop culture and all those kind of stuff but currently even me personally in as much as i don't agree with them me i don't the current cup of you know artists that are doing hip-hop especially in america i can see them to be too boring yeah and i'm also confirming what uh dj dj ebro said According to DJ Ibo, he's one of the DJs in America. He said, currently in America, 
most of the record labels he heard most of the record labels in america are are no more interested in signing hip-hop rappers anymore because they are the, the new crop of rappers are sounding so boring yeah at the moment all the record the bigger uh the the, the, the biggest re record labels around the world all the bigger record labels around the world are showing more interest in latin music and uh african musics that's how come they are signing a whole lot of uh musicians even from ghana uh, we have jackie on sony music we have uh, Black Sheriff on Empire. We have uh, currently Elkhorn's brother, the vice president of Columbia Record, was in Ghana to sign uh, Olive the Boy. Where you go to Nigeria, they are signing Ashake, they are signing uh, Tiwa Savage, they are signing uh, a, a whole lot. Bernard Boy, Whiskey, David, all, the, all these musicians are on top. Of you know, I've I've been signed on you know the big some of the biggest record labels in the world, but now they are the the all these bigger record labels we are talking about are no more are are not showing interest in signing the hip hop musicians anymore because they, according to them, they are sounding so boring. Yeah, I agree. That yeah, Charlie, they are sounding so boring, and also for for more than 20 years like for about 20 years for the first time billboard uh top 100 charts there was no hip-hop song that was featured on the charts you understand charlie so this really indicates that the hip-hop culture is is running down like charlie but i don't believe it's dead because people are still you know doing hip-hop even recently don jazzy signed one musician a rapper on his record label maven's records and uh black sheriff is a rap black sheriff is a hip-hop musician was currently signed on empire onto empire 360 deal on empire records yeah they are still signing their hip hop as but just the majority of them are no more doing the things we love you understand like how low wins them and uh Nicki minaj and the drakes are doing me currently i've been complaining about the new crop of the current crop of musicians that they are sounding boring but in as much as they are not be uh they are not getting uh they are not getting onto the uh the charts they are not they are not being mentioned on the billboards and all those you know the bigger charts around the world i still don't believe it's dead it's there like chale is there chale we are still doing hip-hop just like afro afrobeat afrobeat used to be there even though we weren't enjoying the attention we weren't enjoying the attention, but Charlie Alphabet was still there. Currently, we have uh, Lil Dex and all these musicians still making rec uh, huge records. You understand? Currently, we still have these musicians, top, top, top musicians still making huge records. In as much as Afrobeat is still raining. But DJ Academics also, uh, some time ago, also cautioned them that you people should really perform well, but because... He told them that the American hip hoppers should really perform well because the likes of the Better Boy and the Ashake and the Risky Davidos are coming with a huge pressure. And very soon, if they don't work hard, we people are going to take over. You know, yeah, we I know that Chala at the moment they have all the recognitions around the world, but they should still work hard. They, they, the Americans should still work hard because Chale. Then uh, the, the the Nigerians are gradually uh, taking over. No, the Africans are gradually taking over. <laughs> yeah, the, the Africans are gradually taking over, bro. Because yeah, Angeli Kijo is an African. So the moment I I mention like uh, let's say Nigeria, only Nigeria, meaning I've limited uh I've limited the the the, the conversation. Yeah, I think Olive the boy is from Ghana, right? Yeah, so. Uh, Nasty C was signed on to Dev Jam. Yeah, he's from South Africa. Uh, the, who? Diamond Platinum is from Tanzania. Charlie, we have a series of uh, musicians who are from Africa that are doing good. Look at Saif Keita from Senegal. He's doing something great, right? Uh, currently, Asa Cowboys. Asa Cowboys were in UK performing hard. Charlie, we are performing hard, Charlie. Yeah, so... That was what uh, Mr. Adisope said. Yeah, Mr. Adisope came out to confirm what Wizkid said. In as much as I don't totally agree with them. Yeah, I don't totally agree with, with them. But I still think, yeah, 
African music and the Latin music, the Latin music and African music, especially since I'm from Africa, let's, let, 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 let's talk about African music. African music is, you know, actually on top, is on top. And the rappers, we the lovers of rap. Me, I'm a lover of rap. In as much as I'm an African, I love Afrobeat, but I still love rap. Yeah, Charlie, the rappers should really work hard. The rappers should really step up their game, bro. For the first time, they were... They, ah, Charlie, for the first time, no rap music was on the uh, Billboard Top 100 chart, Charlie. That was really bad, bro. Yeah, so, shouts to Africa, shouts to... Uh, Afrobeat, shouts to every, shouts to all the supporters of Afrobeat. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. My name is Jimmy Rap. I'll be back with more, bro. Fun time, man. Whiskey went on social media, not on social media, doing an interview. Interview, yeah. Said that hip hop, hip -hop was dead. dead. Yeah. And I came online to say, if you read the interview and the context of that, that he, interview, he, he was talking about American hip hop, though. He, he, and he was talking about hip hop generally. Mm. He wasn't even speaking specifically about Nigerian hip hop no, or African wasn't. hip hop. He was talking about the decline of hip hop. Check what? Fast forward 10 months after, in 2023, it's been reported that for the first time in 15 or 20 years, hip hop hasn't had a number one billboard record in the Hot 100. This, this year. This year. It's been reported that this is the first time in 20 years yeah. and that there has been an official decline in the growth of hip hop leading to one of the biggest faces in black culture in the world in the legend Ebro Darden yeah. coming out two weeks ago that saying that he had a conversation with the record label executives yep, yep, who yep. confirmed to him yep. that they will not be signing hip hop yep. artists anymore yep, yep, because yep, they're yep, focusing yep. on Latin American uh, and the African continent yep. because that's where the growth is yep 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 guess what we got it here it seems like whiskey was right yeah. he said that he said <laughs> that a long time ago, ago. Yeah. but you know what yeah and okay, when people like us came out everybody got hi ladies and gentlemen it's your boy jimmy rob from this one from saying baby Bend down low, just like easy, bend down low. 